Hello students, today we are going to learn arithmetic progression. Okay, before that, first we will discuss about sequences. Okay, so what is mean by sequence? So sequence is a pattern of numbers, arrangement of pattern of numbers. Okay, means if I am writing numbers in this way, 1, 4, 9, 16, 25 and so on. Okay, so these are the numbers. Here is a some pattern. Okay, so what is the pattern? These numbers have the perfect square. Okay, this is one square, this is two square, this is three square. Okay, and so on. So these are the pattern. Okay, uh, so this is the pattern. That is a n square. Okay, so these are called as a sequences. Then these terms we have to denote as a a1, A2, A3, A4 and so on. Okay. So this subscription denote this 1, 2, 3, 4 that is the place of the term. So A1 means it is a first term. A2 that is the second term. A3 third term. A4 that is a fourth term. Okay. So these 1, 2, 3, 4 are natural numbers because we count terms as a means we start from first term, then second term, third term. So these are the natural numbers. Okay. And in similar, if n place term is there, okay, or some in some books it is denoted as t1, t2, t3, t4. Okay. So similarly n place here I am taking a1, a2, a3, a4. So n place term is we have to denote as a n. So this is called as n term. Okay, n place term or in general we have to write n term or another name is that general term. Okay, so this n term is called as a general term or we can denote it as a a n. So this is n the term or we can say it is a general term. So in this sequence what is the general term? So if a n we have to write. So these are the squares. So we have to write general term that is n square. Okay. Because if we put n is equal to 1. 1 square is 1. So that is the first term. If we put n is equal to 2. 2 square is a 4. That is the second term. Then a3, that is third term is 3 square, 9. So here general term is a an is equal to n square. Or we can take another example that is a 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 and so on. So here general term is 2n minus 1. Okay, because if we put n is 1, then 2 into 1, 2 minus 1, that is 1. If n is 2, 2 to the 4 minus 1, that is 3. Okay. So, for this sequence, general term is 2n minus 1. Or if I am taking 2, 4, 6, 8 and so on. So, for this, general term is 2n. Okay. So, this is the general term or nth term. Okay. Now, we will discuss about real sequence. Real sequence means if these numbers are real, okay. If in sequence numbers are real, then we can say that that sequence is a real sequence. Okay, so all these sequences 1, 4, 9, 16, and so on, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and so on, 2, 4, 6. 8, 10 and so on. These are all are real sequences. Okay. So this is these are the examples of real sequences. Okay. Now we have to take series. What is mean by series? If a1, a2, a3 up to a n and so on is a sequence. Here we have to take finite numbers. Okay. 
so a1 a2 a3 up to n is a sequence then a1 plus a2 plus a3 up to an so addition of all these terms is called as a series okay so if a1 a2 a3 up to an is a sequence then addition of all these terms is a series okay now we have start our topic that is a arithmetic progression so when we say that a sequence is an ap or it is arithmetic progression so first we will discuss about progression progression means if numbers following some pattern okay and if that terms are progressing okay so if terms are obeying some pattern then that is called as a progression okay now we will discuss about arithmetic progression okay so if terms are like this way 1 3 5 7 9 and so on. okay that is a sequence of an odd numbers okay now if we observe this difference between any two consecutive terms that is a same so 3 minus 1 when we take difference that is a previous next term minus previous term so 3 minus 1 that difference is 2 5 minus 1 that is a 4 7 sorry 5 minus 1 5 minus 3 that is a 2 Seven minus five that is also two. Okay, so everywhere difference between two consecutive terms is two. So this difference is constant, and if this difference is constant, then given sequence is an A. Okay, so if this is called as a common difference. So if common difference is constant everywhere, or it is a, we can say that it is a common everywhere, then we can say that. that sequence is an ap okay so already we learned this in 10th standard so if we have to check sequence is an ap then we have to find the next term that is a n plus 1 that is the next term minus a n okay and if it is a constant every time then given sequence is an ap so if nth term is given or general term is given we have to find first n plus 1th term or you can use like this way also a n minus a n minus 1 okay so next term minus previous term if nth term is next term and previous term is n minus 1 or if we can take n plus 1 as next term then previous term is the nth term so we have to find the difference between the terms and if that difference is a constant constant means it is a independent of n okay so in this if this constant if this difference is independent of n then we can say that that sequence is an ap okay so we will take some examples on this and after that we will find general term okay Here is example show that a sequence defined by a n is equal to four n plus five is an A P. Also find its common difference. Okay, so if we have to check given sequence is an A P or not, we have to find a n plus one minus a. Okay, so for that I am finding a n plus one. Okay, so what is given? A n is equal to so here given a n is equal to four n plus five. Now, if you have to find a n plus one, replace n by n plus one. So a n plus one that is a four into n plus one plus five. So four n plus four plus five that is equal to four n plus nine. So a n plus one is equal to four n plus nine. So if we find this a n plus one minus a n, so four n plus nine. Minus 4n plus 5. Okay, here I am giving bracket. So 4n plus 9 minus 4n minus 5. So this will get cancelled. 9 minus 5 that is a 
four. So here, this difference that is a common difference. Okay, this is constant that is a independent of n. Okay, so if it is independent of n, independent of n means here n is not there. So this a n plus one minus a n that is a difference between two consecutive terms that is a constant. So given sequence is an a p. Okay. And common difference is a four. So in this case, four n a if n term is four n plus five, then this sequence is an a p, and common difference is a four. Okay, means difference between two consecutive terms that is a four. So if general term or n term is given in linear expression of n, okay, here. 4n plus 5 that is a linear expression okay means degree is 1 okay and this is a linear expression so if nth term is given or general term is given in linear expression of n then that sequence is an ap okay and common difference that is a coefficient of n so here coefficient of n is 4 so we will get we got here common difference is a 4 so if nth term is linear expression in n then that is an ap so we can use this result directly so this is an ap and common difference is a coefficient of n okay so if an general we can write if a is equal to so an plus b okay then this is linear expression in n so this is an ap okay and common difference that is a a okay now we will find general term of an ap okay now we will discuss general term of an ap okay so if ap is given a1 a2 a3 and so on and last term is an that is the nth term now we have to find How we will find a n? That is a general term of an a p. So a one that is the first term. Okay. Now this a one first term we have to denote as a a. So every time first term we have to denote it as a. Now we know that this is an a p. So difference between two terms. Okay, that is a two minus a one. That is a t. Okay, or if we add common difference in first term, we will get second term. So second term, how we will get a one plus t. So a one is a we have to consider as a. So we can write it as a plus t. Okay. Similarly, a three. A three, how we will get that is a two plus t. Okay, a two plus t. But a2 is a plus b, so instead of this a2, we have to replace as a a plus b plus this b. So we will get a plus 2d. Okay. So see here, a1 is equal to a, a2 is equal to a plus b, a3 is equal to a plus 2d. So in general, we write a1 is a means a plus. One minus one into b that is a zero d. A two how we write a plus two minus one into d. Okay, that is a plus d. Then a plus two d how we write a plus three minus one into d. Okay, so you can observe here a one that is a plus one minus one d. A two a plus two minus one in, into d. Here two is the Here two is there, okay. A three, a plus three minus one into d. So in general, if we have to write a n, that is a n. How we write a plus? If here one is there, here one. Here two, here two. Here three, here three. And one is everywhere. So a n. How we write a plus? If here it is n, then n minus one into d. Okay. By observing this pattern. We can write general term or nth term 
that is a n is equal to a plus n minus one into b. Okay. So if a b is given, okay means first three terms or four terms are given, and if we have to find general term or nth term, then we have to use this formula. That is a n is equal to a plus n minus one into d. Okay. Now another formula is there. If you have to find nth term from end of the, okay. So we will discuss that formula also, okay. Nth term from end of an AB, okay. Now suppose. A one, A two, A three up to A M means in sequence m terms are there. Okay, total m terms are there. And if we have to find nth term from n, okay, so nth term from n that is means m minus n plus one term. From starting, okay, okay. So n the term from end that is equal to m minus n plus one the term from starting. Okay. Now, if we take one example, so you will understand this. Suppose I am taking this two, four, six, eight, ten. This five terms. Okay. Now I have to find second term. So here total terms are five means m is equal to five. Okay, if we compare with this, m is equal to five. I have to find second term from n. So that is a, now here we can see here second term from n that is a eight. Now this is second term from n, but what is the uh, but what is the uh, what is the place of this term from starting? So how we find this? Five minus two plus one. So five minus two plus one. That is five minus two three. Three plus one four. So here we can observe this. This is the fourth term from starting. So it is a fourth term from start. Okay, and it is the second term from end. So. Similarly, if m terms are there, total m terms are there, and if we have to find nth term from n, then nth term from n that is equal to m minus n plus one term from starting. Okay, so m minus n plus one term, how we find this? By using nth term formula, that is a plus n minus one d. So here we have to find. A m minus n plus one, so that is a plus m minus n plus one minus one into d. So we will get a plus this plus one minus one cancel m minus n into d. So if we have to find nth term from n. And if then total terms are m terms, then we have to use this formula. Nth term from n is equal to a plus m minus n into d. Or otherwise, if we have to find directly means nth term from n. So this a p if we write in reverse order, okay? That is a m first, then a m. Minus one and so on and last term is a two and then a one. Okay, so if we write in reverse order, the first term is a m third term as a first term. Okay, now we have to find n third term. So n third term is equal to a m that is the first term plus now here if difference common difference is d. If we reverse the a p Then common difference is a minus d. Okay, so a m is equal a m plus n minus one into minus d. Okay, so.
so that is another formula or we can write am as the last term so l this minus sign we have right here so l minus n minus 1 into t okay so this is another formula to find nth term from n that is l minus n minus 1 into d okay so keep this two formulas now we will take examples based on these three formulas okay so first example we will take first example is show that the sequence 9 12 15 18 and so on is an ap and find its 16 term and general term okay so here we can observe this 12 minus 9 that is equal to 3 Then fifteen minus twelve that is also three. Then here eighteen minus fifteen is equal to three. So everywhere this difference is constant. Okay, so this sequence is an AP. So A is equal to nine. That is the first term is nine and D is equal to sorry three. A is equal to nine and D is equal to three. Now we have to find sixteenth term. So we know that a is equal to a plus n minus one into d. So a sixteen. So that is a plus sixteen minus one into d. That is a plus fifteen d. So if you have to find sixteen, uh, then we have to put here n d. So a is nine. Nine plus fifteen into d is three. So nine plus fifteen three is forty five. Forty five plus Nine. That is a fifty-four. So a sixteen. That is a fifty-four. Okay. So sixteen term is a fifty-four. Now we have to find the general term. So general term that is a a n is equal to a plus n minus one d. General term that is a n term. So we have to keep this n as it is. So a n is equal to a is nine plus n minus one d is three. So if we simplify this, nine plus three n minus three, so three n nine minus three that is a six. So three n plus six that is a general term or nth term of an AP. Okay. Now we will take second example. Second example is how many terms are there in the sequence three six nine twelve, and last term is given. One 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 thousand oh sorry one hundred and eleven okay so here we have to find how many terms are there in this sequence okay so if we find the place of this last term what is the place of this last term so we will get how many terms are there so here what are the given terms that is the nth term is given so nth term means we have to consider as a last term so last term means hundred and eleven. A is equal to three, and D we can find six minus three that is a three. So A n is equal to A plus n minus one into D. That is one 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 is equal to three plus n minus one into D is three. So hundred and eleven minus three is equal to n minus one into three. This is hundred and eight. If we divide this three is equal to n minus one, so three three is a nine, three six is a eighteen. So n minus one is equal to thirty six. Then n is equal to thirty seven. So total terms in this sequence or in this AP that is a thirty seven. Okay. So here n is equal to thirty seven. Understand this. So one point is there that is a each sequence is not an AP, okay? But each AP is a sequence. So here we we got here that is a total number of terms is a thirty-seven, okay? Now we will take one more example and then we will take next point. Okay. Third example is which term of the sequence? Twenty, nineteen integer one by four, eighteen integer one by two, seventeen integer three by four, and so on. 
is the first negative term. Okay. So now we can see here this sequence is a is in decreasing order. Okay. So here somewhere we will get term that that are negative. So we have to find the which term is the first negative term. So we have to find the place of that term. Okay. So here we have to find the first d that is the 19 integer 1 by 4 minus 20. So 19 fours are 76 plus 177 by 4 minus 20. So that is 77 minus 80 by 4. That is minus 3 by 4. Okay. So d is minus 3 by 4. A is equal to 20. Now we have to take a n less than zero because we have to find. First negative term. Okay, so we have to find the n. So a plus n minus one d less than zero. Okay, so a is twenty plus n minus one d is minus three by four less than zero. Okay, now if we shift this term here, so we will get twenty less than three by four into n minus one. So if you multiply this four and if you divide this, you will get twenty four is eighty divided by three less than n minus one. So if we add this minus one, if we shift minus one here or if we add one to both side, we will get eighty by three plus one less than n. That is a eighty three. By three less than n. So if we find this, we will get three two zero six eight minus six two twenty three three seven zero. Okay. So twenty seven integer. Okay, what is remaining? Three two zero six eight minus six twenty three. Okay, two remaining. So twenty seven integer two by three less than n. So n is Greater than 27 integer 2 by 3. Okay. Now n is in natural number, so n is equal to 28. Okay. Here n is not means we know that n is natural number. Okay. And here n is greater than 27 integer 2 by 3. So we have to take just greater number than this number, 27 integer 2 by 3. We have to take natural number which is greater than this. So next number after 27 into 2 by 3, which is natural is 28. So here we will get 28 term is the first negative term. Okay. So we can write here 28 term is first negative term. Okay. You can confirm this also. If you find a 28, then you will get That that is a negative and which is a first negative term. Okay. Now I will take next point that is a selection of term. The next term is uh, next point is selection of terms in an AP. Okay. So sometimes we require certain number of terms. Okay. Or we have to find certain number of terms. Then in that case we have to use the terms. Like this way. Suppose if we require three terms in an AP, so we have to use a minus d, a, a plus d. So these three terms we have to use this, okay, to find the three terms which are in AP, okay. So this is convenient way to choose these terms and to find the terms, okay, because sometimes it is Sum of three terms given, which is an which is it is an AP. So if we add this minus d plus d will get cancelled and we will get direct value of A. So if we use these terms, that is a convenient way to find the terms. Okay. So if terms are three, we have to use this is number of terms. This is terms. And in that way, uh, in that case, common difference is 
if terms are three common differences b here okay if terms are four we have to use terms are a minus d a plus d that is the middle terms and here a plus 3d and here a minus 3d okay so in this case common difference is 2d okay if terms are 5 again middle term is a here a plus d here a plus 2d here a minus 2d a minus d so in that case again common difference is d okay so if Odd number of terms are there, common difference is D, middle term is A, middle term is A, and if even number of terms are there, common difference is 2D and middle term is middle terms are A minus D and A plus D. Okay. So we have to use this and we have to solve examples based on this. Okay. First example is the sum of three numbers in AP is minus 3 and their product is 8 find the numbers okay now we have to use the selection of terms so three numbers are in ap which is which are a minus d a a plus d okay now first what is given sum of three numbers is minus three so a minus d plus a plus a plus d is equal to minus so a minus d plus d will get cancelled 3a is equal to minus 3 a is equal to minus 1 ok so first term we will get minus 1 now d uh, what is given the product is 8 so a minus d into a into a plus d is equal to 8 so a square minus d square a minus a into a plus d is a square minus d square into this a is equal to 8. So if we put value of a that is minus 1. So minus 1 into minus 1 square minus d square is equal to 8. So minus 1 into 1 minus d square is equal to 8. So 1 minus d square is equal to minus 8. If we shift here. So 1 plus 8 is equal to d square d square is equal to 9, d is equal to plus minus 3, ok. So if we take d plus 3, so here I am adding numbers. So if a is equal to minus 1, d is equal to 3, a minus d that is a minus 1 minus 3 that is minus 4, a is equal to minus 1 and a plus d that is a minus 1 plus 3 that is 3 minus 1 is 2 so minus 4 minus 1 and 2 these are 3 numbers if we change the if we change if we take d is equal to minus 3 then we will get numbers are same but order is different means d is minus 1 and d is equal to minus 3 then a minus d is equal to minus 1 minus minus 3 that is minus 1 plus 3 so that is a 2 a is equal to minus 1 and a plus d is minus 1 minus, uh, minus 1 plus sorry minus 1 minus 3 that is a minus 4 so we will get numbers are minus 4 minus 1 and 2 ok if we take d is minus 3 we will get only order is different that is 2 minus 1 minus 4 ok but numbers are same so numbers are minus 4 minus 1 and 2 ok so these three numbers are there whose sum is minus 3 and product is 8 ok so similarly we will take one more example if 4 terms are given how we find this so we will take one more example and after that we will discuss next point that is the summation of terms in next video okay second example is divide 32 into 4 parts means here addition of that 4 parts is 32 which are in AP says that product of extremes to the product of means is 7 is to 15 okay so 4 parts or 4 terms we are considered as a a minus 3d a minus d 
a plus d and a plus td are in ap okay then first is given addition of this is 32 so a minus 3d plus a minus d plus a plus d plus a plus 3d is equal to 32 so minus 3d plus 3d will get cancelled minus d plus d will get cancelled 4a is equal to 32 a is equal to 8 okay so first term that is a 8 first term means a is 8 then we have to find d now what is given product of extreme to the product of means extreme means here n terms that is a minus 3d and a plus 3d and means means middle terms so product of extremes means this and this and product of means ratio of product of extremes and product of means is given 7 is to 50 so we have to use this a minus 3d into a plus 3d divided by a minus d into a plus d is equal to 7 by 50 okay so this is a square minus 9d square a square minus d square is equal to 7 by 50 so if you put value of a 8 that is 64 minus 9d square 64 minus d square is equal to 7 by 50 okay if you multiply this 15 4 16 0 6 15 6 0 9 6 9 6 minus 135 d square is equal to 7 into 64 7 4 2 4 48 minus 7 d square so if we shift 135 d square that side 960 minus 448 is equal to 135 d square minus 7 d square. So if we simplify this, we are writing that is here 960 minus 448 that is 10 minus 8 is 2, 5 minus 4 is 1, and then 9 minus 4 is 5. 512 is equal to 135 minus 7 that is 128d square so 512 upon 128 d square so I think 128 4 is up okay 128 4 is up so 4 is equal to d square d is equal to plus minus 2 okay now d is equal to plus minus 2 so terms are here I am writing terms that is a minus 3d a is 8 so 8 minus 3 into 2 here I am writing d is plus 2 so 8 minus 6 that is a 2 then a minus d that is a 8 minus 2 that is a 6 then 8 plus d 8 plus 2 10 and 8 plus 3d that is 8 plus 3 into 2 that is 8 plus 6 that is 14 so terms are 2 6 2 6 10 14 okay so if we take d is equal to minus 2 then we will get numbers are same but order is different that is 14 10 6 2 okay so in next video we will see that sum of n terms of an AP then properties of an AP and arithmetic mean okay how to insert arithmetic mean or how to find arithmetic mean okay so in next video we will see that three points and example based on that okay